Cade me the fault to everyone, Irish sloppy dad here. Today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 1 emulator because I've been meaning to do this for some time now is to set up my PC as a retro gaming console with a new front end. I haven't decided what front end I'm going to use at the minute but the first thing I need to do is get all the emulators set up that I want to use on this system. So yesterday was Thursday and I was planning every Thursday to play one retro game just for a blast from the past and to show you guys how to set up the emulator and get your games working. So yesterday I decided I was going to do the PlayStation 1 emulator and oh boy did I run into trouble. I spent most of the day trying to figure out what the hell was going on because I was following all the stupid tutorials online and every single tutorial I came across was this stupid text file you know where people are typing on the keyboard and you're trying to follow along and I was like oh there has to be a simpler way of this. Well today I decided that I'm going to make a quick video just to show you guys how to quickly install it, give you all the packs that you need and head there to get everything up and running on Windows 10. So guys, let's get on with the show. Cue the titles. It's absolutely crazy to think that the original PlayStation was released in 1994. That was crazy for back in them days, and the PS1, which was the smaller, more slimline version of the PlayStation, was released in the year 2000, which was like 18 years ago, and these games still look fantastic when you run them through an emulator today. I think I got my games up and running yesterday in full HD, and they looked absolutely beautiful. So anyway guys, let's get to the main point of this video. Let's get the emulator installed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to fire up your old web browser, in my case I'm using Google Chrome, and you're want to going to do a search for EPSEX, no not EPSEX, what am I thinking, it's EPSXE, <laughs> head on to that website and on your left hand side you'll see downloads, head into downloads and click on the version that you want, I'm using the 2.5 version for Windows, and just quickly download that and save it to your desktop. Once you have that downloaded, head down to the description in this video and you'll find a link there to download this pack. So just head on to that link, download the pack and make sure you unzip it and put it on your desktop as well. So once you have everything downloaded and you have it on your desktop, the first thing you want to do is unzip it if you haven't unzipped it already. I'll just unzip this here real quick and save it to my desktop. So I'll just drag that up. And make sure you don't forget to unzip the PlayStation 1 emulator as well. As you can see I have a folder here called PS1. So open up your PS1 folder and open up the pack folder that you're after downloading. And what you want to do is you want to drag and drop the BIOS onto the BIOS file in the PlayStation emulator. And the plugins into the plugins folder in the PlayStation emulator. So once you've got everything all unzipped and you've got it all on your desktop, open up the emulator by clicking on the EPSXE icon and this is what you're going to see. So you're going to want to go up to, what do you have to go up to? You have to go up to config and the first thing you want to set up is the BIOS. So head all the way down to BIOS, click in there and click select BIOS and you're going to go to select the BIOS, this file here is the one that you're after installing there by dragging it over to the BIOS and the next thing you want to do is head down to video in here you can do all your settings so this is where you can figure your graphics to set the graphics to what you want um, I recommend probably 1280 by 1024 and if you've got a pretty beefy system put everything up to the max this is a pretty low intensive emulator to run on your PC so you can pretty much run this emulator on anything even like an old laptop or anything like that it works pretty much fine I played it on my old Toshiba laptop and everything works beautiful so you've got everything set up there I put just put everything to max now here's the thing if you're using Windows 10 make sure you go into CPU overclocking and put it to X2 or if not every time you try to launch a game it's going to keep crashing so next thing you want to do is set up your gamepad Make sure you have your gamepad plugged in before you start up the emulator or if not you're going to be able to configure it and it won't show up. So make sure you always remember to have it plugged in first. 
So once you've got everything set up, you're going to want to run your games. So in my case, I'm going to run an ISO file. So I'm going to click in here, and I think I have it saved on the desktop. I have, yeah, so I've got Grand Theft Auto, the original Grand Theft Auto saved here. So I'm going to open that, and fingers crossed, with all the settings in order, everything should work fine. Uh, let's hope so, fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. There's the game booting now. Happy days, take two. I am so looking forward to playing this game. It's been like years. I think this game was out in 1998. It was when the very first Grand Theft Auto came out. So guys, I'm Irish Sloppy Dad. If you've found this video useful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't hesitate in putting them in the comments below. And thanks very much for watching. See you later guys. Enjoy your PlayStation 1 games.